Ahoy, fellas. I have since... Well, that doesn't make any sense, does it? So, it wasn't yesterday. It was a little while ago. But I... Oh, wait. I don't have to do that anymore. Really? I have, um... <laughs> I already derailed what I was going to say. What was it? Dear God. I had my Yakuza 0 video, right? And I realized in post that my voice was very quiet. So I, of course, have since changed my audio and all that jazz. And you know what that means? Today I'm going to be super loud. Um, and you won't be able to hear the in-game audio. And then eventually I'm going to level out. And it's going to be perfect. Probably. Oh, I did not know that I was going to... Oh, cool. Well, that's convenient. I'm not going to lie. I forgot that was there. Because at some point I knew. Which means it's fine for me to say that I forgot. God, that also remembers. Speaking of things I forgot. What a great segue. I was going to talk. Speaking of my Yakuza 0 video, what a great segue. Uh, I was going to talk about my actual trip to get my bike. I talked about getting my bike on the Yakuza 0 video, but I never actually talked about the trip there because it was an interesting time, let me tell you. I had to take an Uber, right? In case you didn't watch the video, I got a bike recently because I went to Walmart to get a bike. I wanted to get a bike because I don't have a car. Um, I went to Walmart to get a bike, which was my first mistake, because you never go to Walmart to get anything that you expect to be of quality, right? I don't know why that guy did that. Actually, here we go. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that'll block his way. Alright. Shoot. Nope, nope. That was the bad idea. Oh, hey, it worked out. Nice. I'm glad I'm glad the the normal guy missed or something. I'm honestly not sure what happened there. Anyways, how about that? We did it guys. We kinda cleaned up this area. I do feel some need to go into these uh, other areas and clean them up even more, but I might say, well, you know, let's do it now, why not? Because after this, actually, we just go straight to the temple in the desert area. And from there, you know, there's, uh, I don't know, there's probably something up in this middle area. Yeah? Wait. Did I not actually come up here? I guess not, you know, it would have been nice if I was... Maybe a bit more intelligent, <laughs> I suppose, in terms of remembering things. But, oh god. Back to my bike story, yeah. Finally gonna actually, you know, freaking talk about that properly. Maybe. Unless I don't. So many enemies in this freaking area. And ambient damage. Fun, fun, fun. Alright. It's a fun game, alright? I promise. You should get it yourself and play it yourself if you think I'm so freaking bad at it. How about that? How about you die? I've got an idea. Yeah, so, um, you know, as I said on my Yakuza 0 video, never purchase anything from Walmart. Period. Um, I get groceries from Walmart, honestly, but, you know, don't. If you expect anything to be of quality, don't get it from Walmart. Um, so, yeah. Bike I got from Walmart, already broken. Wasn't the worst thing in the world, but, um... It's broken enough that I wasn't able to fix it, which sucks. So, went, had to get an Uber to go to a bike shop that was like 40 minutes away by bike, because I biked back from the bike shop. Holy, how am I supposed to dodge that? That's my one problem with the super... Did Bash get upgraded in damage? Maybe. But, yeah. Hey, if I... If Walmart did have quality products, then I would have had to, I would have had, I wouldn't have been able to have my fun Uber ride, right? And that would have been no good for the sake of content, because then I wouldn't have been able to forget about talking about it um, over and over again. And then I wouldn't, you know, 
been able to talk about it and rehash it multiple times on multiple different episodes. How about that? Holy, I'm gonna die here. I'm probably not going to die here, actually. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Okay. But, yeah. I called an Uber, right? Um. Hey! What's up, Spiderling? Yeah. There's one other than the Arcanist. Seems trouble. We saw it wandering near the ancient shrine. Oof. Well. Um. Oh. Yeah, there is a, there is a Moki over there. I am uh, might go talk to the Moki eventually, but, you know, it's probably not going to happen right this second. For now, I actually I have got a lot of Gorlick ore that I would like to, uh, you know, take to the Gorlick. But, yeah, my Uber picked me up, and it's this pretty nice, interesting lady, but boy, is she a talker. <laughs> Shush. Um... I'm not much of a talker myself, so it worked out. Because if I were trying to say anything, it wouldn't have worked out at all. <laughs> but it, I got to a point where I was like almost concerned because this lady's got like she turned like Joel Osteen on. She's talking about how much she loves Joel Osteen, and she's like texting someone while we're driving down the road and all that jazz. And maybe I shouldn't be talking about this openly for the sake of this this woman's uh, career but like it was uh, an interesting ride I wasn't all that concerned but eesh, it was a bit odd hey Tuli I got a seed for ya sheesh um god but yeah I apparently picked the wrong address for the store I wanted to go to. It was funny, actually. I, I didn't know that these kind of rideshare platforms had been on for this long. Apparently, the address that I had tried to use was an old address from, like, eight years ago. <laughs> and, um... They were not there anymore. I don't know if there was even a building there anymore, honestly. Is there even anything in here? Doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Ooh! Spirit light! Nice, I bet all of these containers have spirit light in them. I love blatantly robbing a house. I helped build the dang thing, where's my cut? Hmm? Yeah. But... Yeah, if you ever have the chance to uh, take a take a rideshare platform and you know do, do all that jazz, uh, it's a fun time. I tell you what, <laughs> isn't this the place with the cave? Yes. Now that I have the wherewithal to actually go in, I'm gonna do it. Cause I have a lamp. It is called myself. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I'm concerned a little bit. I get the feeling I'm going to be crushed or something. Um, but, yeah. Fun ride. Truly. She, she called the store. Um, and... Not complained... But she was telling them that we showed up at the, the wrong place. And I was like, there was some part of me that was sitting there and being like, yeah, I don't, I don't think they're the ones that really need to know that so much as the platform, so they can change the address on the platform. But I don't, I don't, I guess it's possible they go through like Google or AWS or something like that to get the actual addresses. Is that all? It was just an acorn? Okay, cool. Guess that's all this Moki wanted. Hey, Moki. Here's your acorn. My acorn! Yep. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Alright. Very useful, thank you. Extremely good use of time. Um... 
I gotta say, probably the funniest thing about that story... <laughs> you won't believe this. We do get to the bike store, and she actually comes in for a little while, because apparently this was a bike store she had been to before. Like, um, God, she didn't... It's not that she didn't know where it was, she'd just forgotten about it. And... <laughs> Uh, she just, it was, um, she came in for a little while, talked to the, talked to the bike shop owner about this one bike that she had seen back when she had been there the first time, right? And it was, oh wait, hold on, there are upgrades. I was purchasing normals when I could have gotten upgrades. Well. That's perfectly fine. I like triple jump. So maybe I'll get triple jump. Honestly, ultra grapple is kind of mid uh, next to triple jump. So, yeah. Oh. Spirit light granting bonus damage is actually pretty dang good later. <laughs> when I run out of things to spend money on. <laughs> But, yeah. Right, I never actually got to the funny part of the funny part I was talking about. Um, she Eventually she leaves the shop, right? And the shop owner starts talking with me. And he goes, God, I'm glad she didn't recognize me. That's like, that's my wife's cousin. <laughs> She's a relative. <laughs> And he goes, he, she, she's a real talker, huh? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, god, small world, huh? This freaking lady that drove me to the bike shop ends up being the freaking relative of the guy that owns the bike shop. I don't, I don't live in the biggest town imaginable, so it's not, like, unthinkable that that would happen. But, you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would happen all that often. It's pretty funny, pretty funny. Um, I don't know. There were one or two more things that I considered talking about regarding that story, but you know, it's just not important anymore. And um, I guess I feel kind of bad for only doing basically a spirit trial in this episode, but we're gonna be doing way more than a spirit trial. On the next episode, all right. So you cannot, don't even, don't freaking talk to me about anything else, all right. We're gonna be, we're gonna be doing a lot. I think we have to go back here even. Sheesh. Terrifying. In fact, let's do that now, just so it actually saves the game. Because I'm pretty sure it might not save the game. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it, it's like it's fine when I have to do it because then I know when it when it saves. But other times I'm not so sure. So hopefully we're here on the next time. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will talk your ear off on the way to a bike shop. Goodbye. Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.